So hello YouTube. Today I'm going to do a review on a, a bike that I bought last year. Um, we do a lot of camping in the summertime and taking bikes with us in a, a travel trailer or a caravan. Uh, you can do it, there's lots of room I guess for traveling. Uh, but having a fold up bike, something you, you can store inside at night and just put in the corner is uh, it's really good. You, know, you don't want to leave your bikes out. Um, so I decided to buy this fold up bike. It's from a, a company called Mech, which is Mountain Equipment Co-op. It's a Canadian store and uh, it's called the Origami, obviously because it folds up. Um, I've really enjoyed uh, this bike. I used it like all last year. Uh, I took the dogs out uh, for, ru for runs on the bike and I cycled a lot with it. I used to cycle quite a lot when I was younger, uh, but mainly road bikes. And I had a couple of mountain bikes. I didn't really enjoy them, to be honest. Uh, but for me, this is a really comfortable ride. I'm going to try and assemble it for you, um, and then we'll go through the specs so you can have a look at it, if I can remember how I do this. It's the first time I've unpacked it since last year, so. The pedals just kind of clip out. There you go. And the seat post. So that's it kind of assembled. Um, it does have a rack on the back, which you can get a case of beer on. I did try that. Uh, but it's really well thought out. The whole bike is really well thought out. This kind of unclips on both sides. Uh, the brakes are very positive, very good. It's a cassette type uh, gearing system, which again is really cool. Um, everything's internal, it's less to get dusty and dirty. Uh, they do have this kind of plastic cover on the chain, which I kind of left on. Um, I think there are disadvantages to that because you can get dirt and grit inside and it's not gonna go anywhere. But overall, it keeps the, the chain really uh, clean and obviously off your clothes. Uh, the shifter is just on the right hand side and it has seven speeds, which is more than enough uh, for most things. Has the mud guards and uh, kickstand also. But overall, it's very, very happy with it. I'm actually gonna buy another one uh, for my partner. Uh, she has an older fold up bike right now and we're probably gonna go with a, another one of these. So one of the other really cool things I just want to show you is uh, inside the seat stem. Is a pump. So if you get a flat, you can pump your tire up. So that's kind of a look at the bike. Like I said, I'll do some close up photographs and uh, put the specs up there, but let's go take it for a ride.
here are the specs on the bicycle. It's not light, but it's certainly not heavy. I do like the shifters, they, they're very comfortable. I like to just ride with my hands just on the edge of them. And the Shimano Nexus hub is excellent. It shifts very smoothly, even under load, when you're going up a hill, for instance. Overall, I really enjoy the bike. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's not cheap. It's around $600, but compared to something like a Brompton, uh, that's that's quite a quite a saving. So thanks very much for watching. If you like my video, then please subscribe.